Hi! So since my Odoform synthesis video has got a significant number of views, I figured I can show some of the properties and a couple of reactions of this awful chemical. Iodoform is a yellow colored crystalline solid with the formula CHI3. It has this really interesting crystal structure as can be seen on this photo from Wikipedia. I tried to make such photos myself, but I obviously couldn't get such great pictures of the crystals, but I think mine still look nice, kind of. What is interesting to note about iodo form is that it is one of the only colored compounds without any unsaturated structural elements. Let's get to some of the physical properties of triodomethane. It melts at a temperature of 123 degrees Celsius, which can be easily achieved by my hot plate. You can see it changes to a rather brown color, but as it solidifies again, it reverts back to yellow. The thing worth mentioning is the intense smell of this compound and the enormous amount of fumes this compound gives off while it's liquid. But even in its solid state, it has a high enough vapor pressure to stink up a whole room, even in the small quantities. As for solubility, it is pretty good in organic solvents like acetone. You can see it forms this really, really nice yellow solution. It also dissolves pretty well in toluene, but giving a rather red solution. Not sure why that is though. Solubility in ethanol is not as good as you might think. It does dissolve though, but it takes quite a while. Of course, it is completely insoluble in water, but um, just for fun, I tried dissolving it in eucalyptus oil, which I think worked even better than dissolving it in ethanol. When heated with a flame, iodoform quickly melts and boils, while decomposing into iodine, hydrogen iodide and carbon. You can see the very very nice purple vapors of the iodine coming off. As for reactions, triiodomethane reacts with sodium hydroxide pellets if heat is applied. This reaction forms way less gaseous product. More so it yields sodium iodide and other oxygenated iodide species, water and carbon. Ivan tried to react it with lithium, but no matter how much heat I applied, it didn't react at all. As last thing for this video, I want to demonstrate why iodoform was used in hospitals in the 19th and early 20th century. It is the antimicrobial properties of iodoform. For this, I will prepare some agar cups to grow some bacteria. To prepare the cups, I add way too much agar into nearly boiling water, then I wait for it to dissolve. After it had all dissolved, I removed it from the hot plate. Now I add my main solution in two clean plastic cups and wait for it to solidify. After the agar water had solidified, I added a couple of drops of milk into both of the cups.
the left cup is the control cup and into the right cup I add the iodo form. I put the cups in a dark place and wait for about two weeks. And after two weeks, this is what it looked like. The cup on the left clearly has stuff growing in it, whereas the cup with the iodo form in it is completely free from fungal or bacterial growth. So this is all I can show you people. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. You can go over to my Instagram to see some more behind the scenes stuff and other things I find interesting. And as always, thanks for watching.